I'm Austin, I'm out here foraging. We did a little bit of work in the inner tidal zone this morning and we came across some gumboots. Uh, not something you would typically think of eating when you see it, but uh, they are pretty fascinating and we're gonna take it back to the kitchen. I'm gonna show you a little bit how to prepare this and get it ready to eat. We're back at the Alaska Fish House. After a day of foraging yesterday at the inner tidal zone, we found some gumboots. These are, the scientific name is a black caddy chitin. Um, but more commonly referred to as a gum boot. I'm basically going to show you how to clean these. A few simple steps. There's a few different ways to do it, but I'm going to show you how I like to do it. So what I did with these first was steam them in a, just a little bit of water. I added a little bit of aromatics, some fresh thyme, garlic. You can use whatever you like, whether it's fresh lemon, uh, any other spices that you prefer. I steam them for just about five minutes and then I removed them from the water. I've let them slightly cool. And it's pretty simple how you break these down. Um, you can see on their back here, they have these shells, almost like a backbone. And what we're gonna do is remove those individually. And then you can see some of the skin is coming off, which is completely fine. Some people um, like the skin off, others don't mind. In this case, we can scrape the skin off as well. And that's gonna come off relatively easy with a paring knife. So I've removed basically kind of the shell backbones from the gumboot. And then you can see it's exposed the insides. And inside of here is where we're gonna clean out some of the, uh, some of the insides of the animal. If we just make a little incision, we can see a little bit better of inside and we're just gonna take that out. If you like after this step, you can give it a little rinse if you prefer. And then I'm gonna remove a little bit of that black skin. So we remove the insides, some of the skin, sometimes it all comes off, sometimes a little bit's on there, no big deal. So at this point, um, depending on how you wanna cook it, you can pickle these, you can eat it as is, you can slice it up, you can fry it. Um, it's really versatile. I'm just gonna slice it thin, put it on a plate, little squeeze of lemon, and then we can talk about what it tastes like. All right, so let's try this gumboot. It's excellent. It's got a firm, chewy texture. It tastes like the ocean. It's a, almost like a really buttery clam. It's excellent. Um, I like eating it just like this. If you choose to pickle it, saute it, put it in a soup, that's completely up to you. But um, tasting it in its simplicity with this, just a little bit of lemon, brighten things up. Um, it's really interesting. You know, as we're foraging and finding all these ingredients throughout Southeast Alaska, I love to just taste them um, in a simple manner that really lets the the species speak for itself. So for more edible items within the intertidal zone in Southeast Alaska, check out exclusivealaska.com.